Hello, my name is Daniel, and this video is going to be the first in a little series that I'm going to make about how to create a little Kiwi Tutor application um, that will act as a math tutor. So let me just show you guys so you guys understand what I'm saying. So if I do Python 3 main.py, there you go. This is the app. So you guys can also convert this app into a Python, I mean, not Python, I mean into an Android application or iOS. Um, I did that, I have it on my phone just to mess around with. But anyways, here if you get arithmetic right here, addition, subtraction, all that good stuff. A mix for all of them, about a little about me and the settings right here to change numbers and all that good stuff. So anyways, if I click on addition, we get this 17. Amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get it wrong, oh, too bad. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, so I'll go over the steps on how to do that. It's fairly simple. All right. Um, oh, and uh, just a quick note. Uh, I'm already imagining that you guys already have a Kiwi set up in Python already, so it's all good to go. And also that you guys already done a little bit of Kiwi or somewhat of Kiwi. If you guys haven't, you guys can look these two videos up. So this guy goes over a crash course. It's actually pretty good. And uh, this one, I have not watched it. I only clicked on, on the first video for like 10 seconds. And then uh, I left. So yeah. Um, but anyways, this guy is uh, I, he's pretty big for Python stuff. Even right here, Python programming tutorials. So yeah, he's got a good amount of subscribers. What is it, like uh, 30K? Yeah, 30K, look at that. So yeah, all that good stuff. So yeah, you guys can um, go right there. So now, let me go back into here. And let me start away. So let me start uh, already. So just close this guy up and then go into the project, Kiwi. So you guys are going to need uh, two pro two files, a uh, Kiwi tutor.kb like that one and a main.py. So I'm going to go into the main.py right now. So yeah, I'm already in and there's nothing. Voila. So I'm going to start doing it already. So if you're do using Python 2, I recommend adding these uh, two lines. Just so it can it can make the transition easier when you're moving your code to Py2 to Py3. So yeah, you can add those if you're doing uh, Python uh, 2, if you want to. Uh, in Python 3, there's no need because you're already in Python 3, so hey. All right, let's just get started. So first off, we're going to import the uh, uh, two libraries. So from Kiwi, oops, from Kiwi.app import app. Oh, nope, app, man. What's wrong with you? And then from kiwi.uix.box layout import box layout. There you go. And then we're going to actually finally make the classes. So we're going to do class. And then we're going to do this one kiwi tutor. Oh, come on, man. I can't type tutor root. So it's going to inherit from box layout. And for the documentation, let's just put root of all widgets because that's actually what it's going to be. It's the root of all. It's going to hold everything else. And then for right here, it's just going to accept the quarks. Oh, come on, man. So just copy that and put it in here. Bam, just like that. <laughs> all right, so we have one class used. Now let's create the other one. Uh, let's see. So make that. I just like putting these to be able to tell when one class starts and one and one ends. You know, that's just preference for me. I like doing that. And then Kiwi to the root. And, um, it's gonna accept. It's gonna be app, and then it's gonna inherit from the app uh, um, object library. And then uh, let's just do app object. Why not? Why complicate things? And quarks, and then quarks. Simple as that. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's, oh, wait, we need another function, def build self. So this function is what's going to be called when the Kiwi application is going to be built, obviously, even the method name says it right there. So what we're going to do is return a, uh, an instance of Kiwi root tutor, this guy right here. And this instance is basically a box layout. So it's gonna return a uh, screen with, uh, it's gonna return a box layout actually. So let's just do Kiwi Tutor root. Oh no, not root. Um, oh no, actually, yeah, root. That's what we want. Oh. So yeah, 
And now we do the if main part if this this good stuff. So Kiwi Tutor app, we create an instance and then we're going to run that instance. So simple as that. So now if we run it, we should see an empty screen, a black empty screen. So let's run it. Look at that, black empty screen. Simple as that. So that means we're doing good so far. But let's just add something else to this. Uh, so open up and go to your kiwi.tutor kiwi. This one, if you guys haven't created it, I'm not sure if you guys can see the highlighted, but it's called kiwi tutor kv So just go on that one. And then you're gonna put the, the the UI code right here. So if you guys don't know, the this file basically holds how the application is going to look. So let's just do Kiwi uh, Tutor root. So as you can see, it correlates to the classes that we created in the other one, in the main.py. So oh, man, I hate it when it does that. So let's see orientation we got to set the orientation orientation hopefully I'm spelling it right vertical because it's a box layout and you got it either it, you can either set it to horizontal or vertical I believe yeah it's only two options so it's vertical or horizontal yeah so then that's good stuff it's still blank because we haven't put anything we're just telling it what side how to set up how to lay out the widgets so let's actually add something Let's add a menu at the bottom, at the top. So it's going to be an action bar. Yep. And then an action view. And then an action previous. It's going to be a title. It's nothing. And then with, oops, previous. And it's going to be false. So you guys can set this to true if you guys want to know what it does, what it what it does, and you guys can also fill out this. But uh, I'm not gonna do that just for the quickness of being, for the sake of being quick. All right, so that we have that down, and then action overflow. So this is gonna be what's inside the menu once we press the little dots, as you guys saw. So once we press that, this is this is the stuff that's gonna pop out, and we want a button to pop out. So we do action button button and then the text that is going to be it's going to be settings and for now we can do when it's pressed we can just do app that open settings so this is gonna open kiwi's general settings we can override them like how you saw with the lower and upper limit but for now that's good enough and then just so it won't be lonely, we can do, what can we do? We can add a label, let's add a label, just for now, as a placeholder. Oh, come on, man. I gotta, I gotta change that key binding. But never mind that, let's just do this for now. And then, uh, I don't know, hello YouTube, and all uppercase, why not? And like 50 exclamation marks, that's always good. Show emphasis on the love of YouTube. All right, so now if we run it, we should be able to see a menu bar and then the label that we just created. Oh, look at that. Bam. And what the heck is going on right there? I did something wrong. Uh, let's see. It looks right. Uh, action overflow, action button, text, open settings. Oh, oh my god, this one's supposed to be under. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Okay, that should work. So you see, simple mistakes. There you go. Look at that. Bam. Hello, YouTube. Click this. And the settings. These are Kiwi's general settings. But as you can see, we're going to uh, overwrite this and put whatever. And you can see that right here, you can have multiple settings for different things. But yeah, so we can close it. And ta-da. Simple as that. Where are you? There you go. So yeah, I think that'll be enough for this one. So yeah.